We are back here at Atlantic Health System, home of Atlantic Sports Health with Dr. Martins. And we are going to be talking about genetic testing for sport. A lot of companies out there are offering these types of tests for athletes to see what sport you can excel in. What are your viewpoints and can you give us background on genetic sure. testing in general? Absolutely, Bill. So you're right, in the last five years or so, we've seen a, a tremendous increase in the direct-to-consumer genetic testing. Yes. There's like 23andMe and other companies that are, that are offering these services. And some have really found a niche in terms of sports performance testing, looking at certain genes that uh, have been reported to uh, be able to code for sprinters versus endurance runners or, yes. or muscle strength type 1, type 2 fibers. So a little bit of background probably would be important here. The, the genes are our genetic makeup, our blueprint for what our body will make. And so in essence, we've got about 30,000 genes in our body. We know what the majority of them do. But the reality is there's only about a 1% difference between your genes and my genes. Wow. And looking at that genetic variability has helped us predict what those genes do. Um, there's a project called the Human Genome Project, and they've looked specifically at the athletic gene. And right now, there are probably 20 to 25 genes that they're certain code for uh, different abilities in sports and athletics. Mm -hmm. The big ones that you hear about is the ACE gene and the actin gene, uh, and they code for uh, VO2 and endurance and, and muscle strength. So that's kind of the background I think that people need to understand sure. when they look at this genetic testing. Yeah, no, that's very interesting, and there's so much science coming out now with the advancement of technology. Talk to us about, you know, if you're a parent and, and you're looking at the opportunity to genetically test your, your child to see if they would excel in a specific sport. What, what are your personal viewpoints on that? What would you, what would you say to parents? Well, I, we here at Atlantic Health have a very uh, large and robust genetic department, uh, and they do a lot of genetic testing. I encourage, uh, sorry, I discourage yep. uh, my patients from doing it for the reasons for sports and performance. I think if you've got uh, risk factors in your family and are looking for uh, concerns about cancers, uh, other things, I think it makes a lot of sense. But I really discourage our parents from testing their kids to see if they have these sports performance genes. I don't think it brings value. If you've got a young athlete who's motivated, doing well, and excited about a sport, I don't think there's any reason to do this. Right. Uh, it could discourage them from doing the sport if they don't have the gene, and I don't think it brings value if they do have the gene. So I tell parents to avoid these uh, direct-to-consumer uh, testing for sports performance. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. You know, I've got two sons in high school sports, you know, junior and a freshman uh, competing in basketball, football, and I don't think it brings value either because at the end of the day, these genes are testing if you're able to become world-class. Correct. Well, let's first get our athletes to be able to compete at the high school level right. and enjoy their experience at high school, and if they do well, maybe they'll go on to college. And if someone was to tell me, as a young high school athlete, or, or I would never be a good javelin thrower, or you know, or couldn't reach the world level, I would have been shot. And I went on to become a Division One All-American in the javelin, and it helped me pay for college. Sure. Really valuable information. I can't thank you enough. Thanks. Bill. Thanks so much. Appreciate okay. it.